it's Lemmy here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at some products that have been made by Etcher recently. First of which is the mini palette. And the second thing we're going to take a look at is a bunch of sketchbooks. There will be a giveaway in this video. If you stay tuned towards the end, I'll explain how you can join for a chance to win a sketchbook. What's specifically cool about this giveaway is you get to pick the kind of paper inside the sketchbook and also the size of the sketchbook. So stay tuned and I'll talk more about that later. Okay, so the first item we're gonna be looking at is the mini palette that's made by Etcher. It is a circular palette. It's really, really small. It's a little bit over three inches in diameter. The porcelain pieces inside the container are a little bit under three inches. So it's really, really quite small. When they say mini palette, they're really not joking. Despite it being three inches, it can hold 37 different colors, which is a lot. But you have to look at it this way also, that the piece of porcelain that stores all of your colors, these slots are much smaller than a watercolor half pan. So you have to be aware that you're not really taking a large amount of watercolor with you. So if you're going away for a while, this might not be your best option because you'll just have less watercolors. Um, if you wanna go on a vacation for like a few weeks and you're gonna do a lot of painting, you might want a larger palette. So it's really all about the situation, but for this specific palette, the 37 different color options, I think was a great idea. The reason for this is that since it's such a small three inch diameter surface that you're working on, you wanna have as many pre-mixed colors as possible. And then on the second piece of porcelain that comes in the set, that has seven mixing wells. So you can take your pre-mixed colors and tweak them on the mixing well porcelain piece. And then it's a lot more convenient than if you were to have larger spaces for colors, you would have less colors, but then you would also be forced to mix more. And when you have such a tiny palette, you don't really wanna mix a ton if you have limited space. So I think that the way they did it was smart for the amount of space that you have. Though I will say if they were to have maybe 20 pans, um, but maybe they were just slightly bigger so that you could get the paint in more easily, I think maybe that would have been better than 37. 37 just sounds like how much can we pack in here, but it's not, it's not comfortable. Not to mention, I've never used 37 colors in a picture. So it's kind of like, well, maybe if there was something like 20 pans or something so that you could get the paint in more easily and it wasn't as compact, but you still have a ton of color options. Maybe that would have been better than the 37 options. So I'm kind of teetering back and forth with that. Of course, if you have smaller pans to put your colors in, you're gonna see that it's really frustrating to get your colors in there. So it's gonna take a hot moment to get your 37 colors in there. And I wanted to do it as cleanly as possible. So I used toothpicks and I mixed everything. Once it dried, the, the watercolors kind of went into the wells nicely and it was, it was great, but it was frustrating getting those colors in. But you only really have to do that once because after you do it the first time, then you just have to refill the pans and then it's just you're doing one color at a time and it's so it's just kind of an investment of time at first and then after that it's like whatever oh my god but if i ever wanted to change out a color i could not imagine being able to do that because i mean if you want to change out a color you're going to be rubbing into all the other colors and it will be a mess so be sure what you put in there is what you want in there because just the thought of changing out one of the colors from the pan the the porcelain mold is just like mm, i don't think that's going to ever happen oh another pro tip aside from the uh toothpicks to try to get your paint in there nicely another tip i have for you would simply be do not use honey paint, like honey watercolor paint in this thing. 
because I didn't think about it and I was just like, I'm gonna make sure I fill up all of these slots so everyone can see the different color options that it can hold. So I was forced to use like some of my honey paint and that stuff never dries. Like it takes forever to dry and it's never really dry. It's kind of tacky and it's been like years and it's still not dry. So I don't know. I would not recommend using that in this specific palette because it will get everywhere. There's nothing holding these, these porcelain pieces in, so they're always touching something, whether it's the fabric or another porcelain piece or a swatch. I have paint everywhere. I would not recommend honey paint in this palette ever. <laughs> like, never ever would not recommend it in a million years. I didn't really think of it because I was just like, you know what, I just got to fill this up so everyone can see. But like at the same time, that was stupid of me. I would not recommend that. All right. So do I like this? Do I think that it's, it's a good item to have? And I love collecting watercolor palettes. I love anything watercolor. I'm crazy about getting different things and trying them. I'm happy I have it because it's different and it's unique. And I love that it's made out of porcelain. But as a plain air travel palette, or just not even if you're going outside, just like on the go, I don't really know if this would be your best option. And while it's porcelain, which I'm giving it huge points for, and while they thought about having that many color options and then having the mixing porcelain piece, and it's just too many pieces to keep track of. It's eight pieces. It's the top part of the tin, the bottom part of the tin, three pieces of fabric, a swatch, and then the two porcelain pieces. So that's eight different pieces. I would not throw away the fabric because I wouldn't want the porcelain to get chipped or damaged because it will be moving around in the tin without the fabric there to hold it in place. Um, that many pieces when you're on the go, if you're outside, there's a gust of wind, you're gonna lose your stuff. Like, it's just a lot for traveling. Um, but I think if you had a smaller workspace, if you had a smaller studio thing, maybe you record YouTube videos and you wanna show your palettes in the video while you're mixing your colors, but the other palettes are too large, this would be a great option for you. Or if you wanna to go to your friend's house where you know you're gonna be sitting at a table and there's gonna be ample room so you can just kind of move things to the side, this would work great for you. Um, it's not for big paintings. You can't fit large brushes in here and pick up the color that you want without picking up all the other colors surrounding it. If you wanna do a large painting, you're better off with a larger palette. If you wanna use larger brushes, you're better off with a larger palette. If you work small and you use a lot of pre-mixed colors from tubes, then this really could work for you depending on what you want to use it for. So it's all about what you want to use it for, how you work, and what's the style of how you work. I think it's great that it's made out of porcelain. Um, I wish more palettes were. It's, it's quite nice, it's luxurious, the watercolors don't stick to it, it's very clean. Um, but I think that there could have been, now this is when I'm going to kind of divert off of what it is. And this is, okay, how do I explain this? I'm super excited for this palette, but if something was slightly different about it, I would be super duper excited about this palette. The reason is I am not excited that this is eight pieces. And I think it could have very easily been condensed into two pieces. And that just means the palette and the swatch. Um, I would have taken the tin and I would have changed it to a makeup compact sort of deal where you open it up, it's all attached to one another. And you know in the makeup compact you have the mirror and the blush on the other side or whatever. It would just be the two porcelain pieces on either side, they would be attached and then you could close it and there would be no danger of the porcelain hitting one another, but it would all be together and it could all be in one hand, you could just hold it. And I just think that that, for me, would have made this into like 
it, it would have went from this is a great item to this is like a really like great item for on the go. And I realize that that's just my thoughts and other people have their own opinions. Maybe you love how the design is now, but for me, I can't take this on the go. Um, if it was designed a little bit differently, it would be my on the go all the time palette. Like I would just take it everywhere. Um, but that's what's holding me back from totally being in love with it. That's really my thoughts. And I know like that's just my own opinion and you could have yours. Maybe you like the way it is now and that's totally fine. Like I always say, I know I'm super picky and I nitpick about a bunch of things, but I think it's important as a viewer to look at the things that I'm saying and then figure out what's most important to you and how this review fits into your life, how you paint, what you look for in a palette, and then you have your decision if this is good for you or not. The mini palette made by Etcher is because I'm American. It is 49 USD. Uh, apparently free international shipping is a thing and you can uh, get a discount code of 10% off when you buy two or more mini palettes. So that's a thing. And uh, yeah, that's the mini palette. And I know I'm like, oh my God, the mini palette, blah, 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 blah. But now we're moving on to my favorite thing ever. And that is the Etcher sketchbooks. And this was something that was given to me by Etcher and no one even asked me to really review it or make a separate video for it. But I think it's the most amazing thing ever. Like I'm just super happy about the sketchbooks and I feel like I feel like I'm more excited for the sketchbooks than I am the palette, which I'm I'm sad about. But at the same time, I'm really happy that the sketchbooks are that freaking amazing. I love these sketchbooks. I'm gonna be honest with you. I love them. And now I'm ruined for other sketchbooks because I just look at them and I go, oh, I wish you had the paper that was in these books because it's really nice. And I know that my other sketchbooks just aren't as nice as this so I I've been ruined that now I have to go back to them and I'm like oh but you're not as good you know all right so before I get too ahead of myself I have to tell you a bit about them they are watercolor sketchbooks but because they're watercolor sketchbooks they're also like mixed media sketchbook you can use other things on there but it's really good for wet media uh, like I could use anything in this book I don't think I mean, maybe I wouldn't want to use oil paints because that stuff doesn't dry quickly, but I mean, there's no reason I don't think you could use acrylic on this or like you could use inks, you could use gouache, you could use pencils, you could use charcoal, you could use pastels. Like these, I really like the paper. I don't think there's anything that I wouldn't use on it except maybe oil paint because it doesn't dry. And I've learned my lesson from the honey paints in the palette. <laughs> So yeah, I really love the sketchbook paper. It's nice and it's thick and it's mm, it's really nice. They come hot pressed or cold pressed. And that means that hot press is a very smooth surface that you can work on and cold pressed has texture. I've tried both of these books uh, inside this video and I love both of them. I think that they're both fantastic. Each book is 100% cotton acid free and they are 220 GSM and they are 54 pages. They come in three sizes, which is A4, A5, and A6. And uh, yeah, the books themselves have a canvas cover so you can design and paint your own cover on your sketchbook, which I love. It has the embroidered etcher llama llama logo logo llama on here which i love i'm like i love that freaking llama so much i don't know um in the back there's a pocket so you can keep swatches or extra sketches or something in the back that you have with you extra paper in that pocket in the back uh it comes with a band that you can close the book and make sure that all your pages stay i guess uh crease free or like wrinkle free it's all like nice and held together there's a bookmark a fabric bookmark and uh yeah the first page it says this sketchbook belongs to and you can put your name your telephone your email which i appreciate 
and then the specs of the sketchbook are on the other side of that page so if you want to order another one you know which one it was and you can get another one if you want so yeah I'm very very excited about this sketchbook I just I really 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 like it and I know someone's gonna be watching the video and they're gonna see when I drew the Etra logo and they're gonna say, wow, that paper bleeds everywhere or something like that when you use that ink pen. But I just wanna let you know that the highlighter was really wet. So it acted like paint. Those specific highlighters that I have, uh, they release a lot of, of fluid. <laughs> um, so when I used the pen, it did bleed into the highlighter but it gives it like a little bit of a distressed look, which I really liked, so I did it. Um, but it's, you could use ink on here and get really clean lines. It's not like the paper on its own. It wasn't bone dry and, and it did that. It was, it was wet into wet. So just wanted to make that clear. For any of you who's been watching the video really carefully and you're like, what's going on there, you know? So yes, I'm in love with these sketchbooks and I'm very happy to say that this is going to be the giveaway prize. Etcher is going to pick one winner and you're going to be able to pick as that winner which sketchbook you want. So you can pick hot or cold pressed, the paper, and you get to pick the size of the sketchbook. So A4, A5, or A6. So they get pretty large and pretty small. Um, whatever, which one you want, you know, whatever one you want, you get to pick. Okay, so how you're going to enter is you're going to leave a comment in this video. Not only that, you're going to sign up for Etcher's mailing list. So I'm going to have a link down below in the video description, but also a comment that is going to be pinned to the top that's going to have that information for you so you can join and leave your comment. Once you do both those things, you're going to be in the running to get a sketchbook. Now, one week from today, so it's Friday, next week it's gonna be August 30th. That's the day they're gonna pick a winner. So you should check your email that you signed up with or you should check your YouTube messages. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to contact you, but I would check both of those things on that day or the day after just to be completely certain because I know there's time differences for everybody. Um, make sure you check and see if you win because you're gonna have to provide them with you know, your address, what kind of sketchbook you want, stuff like that. So keep an eye out a week from today August 30th, 2019, in case you're like far in the future and you're watching this video. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all you gotta do. And uh, you have a chance to win your own sketchbook, which I love and I really recommend. Like, I just can't think of anything that I don't like about it. I just can't think of anything. And you know how picky I am. <laughs> I'm picky. I'm going to leave all this information down in the video description. I'm also going to pin my comment to the top of the comment section. If you guys ask any questions, I'll get back to you within about the first week. I'll be heavily into looking at comments and answering your questions. If you have a really good question, I will put it in my pinned comment up top so other people can kind of see that in the answer and maybe have all the answers to their questions. So uh, yeah, I hope you win a sketchbook because they're freaking awesome and I love them so much. I'm like super happy I have them and they can't wait to keep using them. Um, but yeah, also thank you to Etcher because Etcher always gives me these things so I can review them for you. And uh, I'm just excited about their products. I think that they're always innovative or different or interesting or just really like far better than other things. Like they I, just, this company, I love how daring they are. They're like, we're just gonna make something unusual <laughs> that could be really freaking amazing. Like their, their bags and stuff for traveling and doing plain air on the go. That's awesome. Like, I don't know, just really cool. So Etcher, Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much for giving me these items. I love them. I will treasure them and I will use them. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get going. You guys take care and I'll talk to you again soon in another art video.